Alrighty, I am back from my lunch. Gotta get some energy for all these unboxings and hopefully a game tonight with a friend. One can only hope. Anyway, this is the unboxing of the starter set. So, yeah. Regardless if you're a Kickstarter backer or anything else from now on until they change the recipe, this is probably what you're gonna get in the, the starter box. When you go to the store and buy it. Um, still clearing away some of the other stuff, sorry guys. Just wanted to get started. Uh, okay, probably should have done that off the camera. <laughs> oh well. So here it is. Starter set, Starks vs. Lannister. At the time of filming this, I know there are other starter sets. Well, I guess there are more like army starter sets. But my understanding, it's not going to include the um, the rules and all that. It's just like a bunch of miniatures for the Night Watch and the Free Folk slash um, Wildlings, Giants and whatnot. Anyway, let's open this. Uh, just gonna use a pair of scissors here. Try not to scar the box. Uh. Oh, terribly sorry about that. Uh, it's very wobbly as it is. Shit. Well, if you want production value, <laughs> it's probably not this channel. Uh, see there we go away with that oh, it's tight I wonder if let me just check nope it's just a tight fit there was no taps I needed to get to Sure, it feels like there's tape or something holding it, but it's just very, uh, very tight fit. Okay. Oh, that's a new plastic smell, huh? <laughs> we got the rule book. Kind of regret not getting a luxury rule book or a deluxe rule book, but I thought I was in for a lot of money when I packed the Kickstarter. And then I saw all the pictures of the other guys getting their stuff, and I've, I pretty much did get a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is my reading for tonight. Yeah. Just a quick spin through this. I, haven't, I mean, it's been available in PDF form for the entire Kickstarter, I believe. But I haven't really... I haven't really kept up with it since the very first iteration. Anyway, this is not what this video is about. I'll try to keep this concise since it could be useful to a lot of people. So, yeah. This looks like a lot of the cardboard and tokens and terrain in the background. You might be able to see some of the 3D terrain I got in the Kickstarter. Again, it's not about that. Huh. Need to remind myself. I'm just excited. Uh, I kind of want to know what this is, so I'm going to open it, but I think we can see what the rest is through all of this. Let me just gently use a pair of scissors here. There we go. We'll get to the miniatures in a bit. So. Wanted to see what this is really. Oh, of course. Yeah, this is the uh, tactics board. Of course. And yeah, these are just all the tokens. There are three. Well, since. Let's just take them all out. Just to make sure. I definitely know when I watch something I'm thinking of buying, I want to know exactly what's in there. So. Here is sheet number one, we saw that through it, all the cardboard tokens, some of the terrain. Here's the second one, 
Okay, yeah, okay. So these are rulers and objective markers, I believe. First turn token, I believe. These are uh, hard to have in frame. These, I believe, are for the uh, Storm of Swords. Can't remember, there's like a siege game mode. I believe that's for that. And these are other tokens that I'm not 100% on yet. As you can see, this is me opening the base game, so I obviously haven't played it yet. And again, more terrain. Accidentally popped this corpse pile out. Victory points, more terrain. Okay, so that's that. Let's get to the uh, the miniatures. That's what people want to see. Just okay. I'm just gonna gently put this to the side. Okay. Whole bunch of cards, castle walls. I actually haven't seen these yet. Very cool. Um, I'm gonna read up on this scenario as soon as this, well, as soon as I've done with recordings. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh, okay. These are the objective ability cards, kind of thing. For instance, this one, when you score points from this objective, you, you restore up to D3 wounds to a friendly unit. Oh, not necessarily just the unit that's on there. Interesting. Lots of cards to go through. <laughs> Lots of cards to go through. Characters, tactics, deck, all that sort of stuff. I might open them and just like quickly sift through them so you can see what's in here. But uh, there's a lot of cards, certainly not going to read all of them. Dice. Um, I actually didn't get any of the Kickstarter dice. Maybe I should have. But it's easy enough to get equivalent stuff printed. What I do like is that they have a proper D3 in here. Even though doing a D3 on a D6 is easy. I, I think this is a smart move. Especially with the whole anyone can pick up and play this game. Like in a, in a minute. You don't have to... Tell them that a one and a two is a one, three or divide by two or whatever rule you go with with a D three. Anyway, cool. These are actually nice and heavy, and I like dice. Uh, these these feel pretty good. I think maybe I don't know. I certainly have enough as it is. Anyway, enough about that. It's all the boring stuff. Probably already yelling at me in the comments. Okay, I believe this is just all movement trays, but let's do those first so we can see how many units this turns into. Tape again. This time it gets the scissors. Let's fill these out as we unbox stuff. Okay, so let's see. We got one cavalry tray, one standalone tray, and this is the cool part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven full infantry units, and cavalry, and a standalone, and options for characters. I can think of few better starter sets in all of the games I've ever played. This is not like a thing where you buy the starter set and it's really just a you should really spend more money to play this game properly. Like, the, I mean, this is legit uh, in terms of options. Of course, of course, there's a lot of tempting stuff. Which is why I have a mountain of other things to unbox. <laughs> but, I mean, it doesn't feel like a cheap, like, gateway drug. This uh, this feels this feels really good. Anyway, Stark Outriders. I do have a separate video on unboxing a unit of these. Um, because I got them before this. So, I'm going to go over them very quickly. So that's the only cavalry unit in the starter box, and I think they're a fantastic unit. 
even though I'm not a whole... I'm, I'm not really a cavalry dude, more of an infantry dude. But... I certainly do like them. Now I have quite a bit of Stark Cavalry. Should be fun. Alright, so that's unit number one. Okay, then we have some uh, banners for the various Stark units. This is for the Umber Berserker units. We have the Umber Giant there. It's very nice, helps even people like me paint some decent banners. And two Stark Sworn Swords units, uh, banners anyway. I would have loved to see him have a scabbard with a sword in it, but he has a spear. It's quite all right. Okay, that's it for this piece of plastic. I'll put that aside and we can start to fill out some of our Stark units. See if I can have it all in frame. All right, so one infantry unit, two, And three. Let's see. Let's do Starks on either side. There and there. And Umbers. Um, yeah. So, there we go. Oh, Alright, so you also get some instructions for the rest, but. It's not really any assembly, which is very cool, and I do believe that it's quite possible to uh, customize these. As I said in another video, I saw some some guys on the Facebook group uh, switch some some sword, oh, some sword arms and some uh, berserker axe arms around, and some heads too, and I think it worked out quite well with. Uh, Varying them. Okay, so I can't have all of it in frame right now. So I'm gonna start. You probably guys probably want to see the character. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. All right. So here we have the standard version of Rob Stark. I do prefer my Kickstarter alternative, but. This is no slouch. This, I believe, is... Uh, which one is Sansa? Which one is Caitlyn? I believe this is Caitlyn. Can't tell anymore because the uh, <laughs> Sansa used to have her dire wolf lady on there, but then someone pointed out that it wasn't right for the timeline, so they killed it on the miniature. <laughs> now we have this instead, which is both correct and sad. So let me put those in frame in front of the units here. And great John Umber, the original sculpt. This one I don't know about, because uh, the Kickstarter alternative sculpt I have, I like both equally, I think. I don't know. And I suppose we can do this. Here is Rob's direwolf. What is it? Grey Wind? I had a brain fart there. I believe it's Grey Wind. Uh, he goes on the solo tray. There we go. Have him in stalking in the background. Can have Rob with him. Alright, so then. Okay, yeah, these are just regular Berserkers. I didn't know if it was the champion. So I'm going to be very quick with the line troops here. Some of them might be duplicate. Or, well, I know there's duplicates. Just have a check if they are. Show some of them from the back as well, if people are interested. Do look kind of scruffy with their sewn up. 
skirts, <laughs> whatever they are. Yeah. I'm gonna do a couple at a time because these are identical. Yeah. Might try and swap a couple of heads around so they're not exactly identical. Alright. I like the scale of these. These are it's a good scale. Like they're not so small you need to like eh, grab. Like they feel feel right, especially the base size. Okay. And then the last one is probably the same as one of the previous ones. And of course you get a Umber Champion character. You can go in the unit instead of one of the rank and file guys or in any other unit. He can go with some Starks. He's not bound to it. Um, okay. Now there's a lot of duplicates because there's two whole units of uh, Stark Sworn Swords. So just gonna put them through for each. I'm gonna do this a little bit quickly. It's probably not what you wanna see. If you're that interested, you'll find many still pictures on the internet, I'm sure. There we go. These might seem like the boring units to a lot of people, but it's actually the rank and file ones I like the best. Like. I know everyone just wants to have like, like spam something to think there's really cool like knights or something. But whenever I play games like these, I I want to feel like it's a battle. Like, I don't know, eighty percent of the troops you bring would be just like rank and file guys, and then yeah, there will be some specialized troops in there. But the guys holding the line, those would be the ones that are most frequent. All right, so I'm taking it out in order so they look really repeatable, but if I just switch it up a little bit, then that starts to go away, I believe. Ah. Haven't gotten that far in the line yet. More of these. And of course, these will be matched by, I believe, two units of... Um, Lannister guards, which are somewhat equivalent to these. There we go. Well, look at that. That is a lot of miniatures, and there's even more. It's two guard captain, or no, sworn sword captains attachments. These are characters as well and can go in any unit. Of course, they look like they belong with these, but you can go in any Stark unit. Or allied neutral unit, I suppose. There we go. So these are the Starks you get in the set. Uh, I do not believe there are any more. I believe the rest are Lannisters. Let's just move it back so we can see. What I think I'll do here is quickly just shuffle this or I'll shuffle it around as I open it. Oh my goodness. So gotta take the rest out of the box. Nothing left. Put that away. Gently shuffle all this back. Movement tray system for this game is a fantastic idea. I, I applaud them for that. Such an elegant way. Like, every time you buy a unit, it comes with a movement tray, none of that. I mean, I'm certainly guilty of it when it came to Warhammer Fantasy. I uh, I never really got around to making all the movement trays for them, and it was a mess. Okay, so there's nothing on the other side. It's basically just contents and what you need to do with it, which is very self-explanatory. On the floor with that, and then there's a lot of red in here. Lannister there's scumbags. Uh, I do said it before, I, I think as of right now, these might, Lannisters might be the most powerful faction, at least out of the box. 
Uh, so probably should play those, but it's Starks for me. That was great. Let's see if we can fill these four units. So many miniatures in a base game. I love it. Let's start with the characters. Here we have Cersei looking. Uh, focus. It's difficult. Looking like she's up to something, which she always is. Very nice. I imagine she'll be quite quick to paint because she doesn't have all kinds of different armor and stuff on. Here we have the mountain on foot in a standard version. Very popular miniature. And I think if I'm going to be playing Lannisters, he's probably going to be... I actually know it's going to be Jamie. <laughs> I like the defensive stuff more than this. Anyway, here we have what I believe is a guard unit banner. Let's put him there. Let's take another, another guard unit banner there. And a halberdier unit banner, but I suppose, I suppose you could interchange those, even though he's not carrying a shield. Okay, let's see here. This is the mountains men banner. I really do like, I mean, they hold no significance in terms of abilities or anything, but I love that there's a banner in every unit. It looks so good. It uh, looks like the first unit up is the Mountains Men. So, uh, Clegane unit. People in very heavy armor with a great sword and a questionable life choice. Let's spread those out because he was identical. Okay, there's three of them. Okay, let's see. And there's four duplicates of this guy. Oh, I do like this unit. Like heavy foot knights kind of thing. Or They're definitely right up my alley. <laughs> Got a guy swinging his sword, and there are also four of this guy. Looks a little bit funky. For a minute there, I thought it was Brienne. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was the hair that threw me. But yeah, four of those. Certainly look like a nasty unit to run into okay now we got one unit so the next uh well actually there is the kingslayer himself jamie lannister in his king's guard uh armor with a lannister shield though so i don't know how i'm gonna paint this guy if i'm gonna paint him Lannister armor or Kingsguard armor because I do believe uh, That I've seen that they've announced a Kingsguard unit Now what faction they're gonna well, they're probably gonna be Lannisters, right? Anyway, Tyrion in his In his uh, NPC form oh Shoot I should have him in uh, a combat Version as well. Oh yeah, he yeah, of course. He's gonna be in the Lannister Heroes box. Thought I was missing a miniature there. But yeah, the NPC. Uh he seems quite honestly, both of these NPCs seem very or not NPCs, non-combat characters seem ridiculously good. What we have here? Oh, started from the wrong. Wait, I believe this is a assault veteran, so the upgrade character sort of for the um, Halberdiers, but he can of course go in any unit. Okay, we got four of this guy with the Halbert going forward. I really oh, it's all the cardboard and plastic. <laughs> 
I really hope that we're gonna get a spear unit. It seems like it's it's a spear spearman is something like every unit throughout or every army throughout history has had. Like seems odd that they haven't put any of those or announced any yet, but I am confident that we'll get some with somewhat similar abilities. Okay, so this is a pile of Lannisters as well. I'll continue with the guards. We have another four of these. Probably should have done the same with the Starks, like saying how many there are of each, but sorry. Don't want to make this video any longer. So many miniatures to go through. Okay, and Finally, three of these guys. Again, it's easy to vary them up a little bit within the unit. Okay. Let's go. Now we have two units of Lannister guards to fill out. So let's see. We have a. Let's see, two, four, six, eight of these guys. If it would focus. I do believe that these are just standard. Uh. <laughs> okay, next up we got what looks like another eight duplicates of uh, this guy. It's probably the same with the Starks, like 8, 8, and 6, I would guess. Alright. Quickly, gotta go through the rest of this. This video is getting quite long, but there is a lot of stuff in here. Can hardly complain about that, huh? But we're gamers, we're supposed to complain about everything, aren't we? <laughs> okay, yeah, finally six of these guys. Uh, sorry about the lighting. There we go. And there are a total of two miniatures left. I bet you can guess what those are. Go. Two guard captains. Again, upgrade characters can go with anything, and I believe these are very strong. I believe these are the ones that can make them re roll their morale test at the cost of executing a guy, basically. And, um, yeah, winning a morale test is the Lannister. In a combat situation, just all kinds of nasty with the Lannister supremacy on the units that have that. I'm uh, well, not gonna go into what I feel about that. Let me try and get all of the miniatures in the shot. So, I mean, this is really two full armies, as I keep saying. Okay. Might have to shuffle the camera around a bit. There we go. <laughs> that is, uh, that is a lot of miniatures to paint. <laughs> There's a mountain more waiting for me. Lannister characters. Oh, and the Stark characters can probably fit at the bottom of the frame here. That is quite the ensemble. Yay, they all fit in there without having to shuffle this <laughs> touchy camera around. Quite fit, but there we 
go. <laughs> I mean, if that's not impressive for a starter set, I don't know what is. And I, I don't know what it's going to retail for, but whatever. I, I definitely didn't feel cheated with the Kickstarter. It's Even without all the extra stuff, it seems like a very good price from what I remember. When you compare it to other games, like in terms of starter sets, I, I think I, I definitely wouldn't feel cheated about buying this, even if it was at that price. Anyway, I've waffled on for a long, long time. Uh, yeah, what else was in there? I'll see if I can fit some of it. The dice, of course. There's all that cardboard in the beginning, and there was these three mountains of cards. These are upgrade characters for units. This is tactics deck. This is, yeah, all that sort of stuff. And these are objective cards, and these are unit cards. Um, and some reminders. So, yeah. Uh... I think with all the cards, I'm just gonna, once I've opened everything I have, I might just make like an hour and a half long video just discussing things, however long it takes. Because, I mean, I'm a game designer by trade kind of thing. Um, so I really do enjoy rules uh, a little bit more than I should probably. <laughs> so let's do that. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. and. If there's something specific you want to know about each of the units, probably going to do tactics videos on all of them. If there's another unit you want to see unboxed, at least in the early days of this game, I'll probably have at least one of each. <laughs> uh, certainly. Well, I do have some Knights of Casterly Rock. I do have some... Let's just quickly show what I have that's definitely going to be unboxing on. So Neutral Heroes 1 in the future. There's going to be Bolton Cutthroats are going to be Bolton Flatemen. They're going to be Stark Heroes 1. They're going to be Bolton Bastard Skrulls. Uh, there are going to be Lannister Heroes, one. They're definitely gonna be uh, Stark Bowmen. They're probably gonna be the next one. Did I film? Knights of Castrelli Rock. Those I have already filmed, uploaded, and unboxed. Well, unboxed and then uploaded. It's a bit of rambly tactic discussion in there. Sorry about that. Uh, Lannister Crossbowmen. Also a unit I'm looking forward to. Unboxing and another unit I'm looking forward to unboxing Tully Sworn Shields. Please. Be sure to find them at some point on the channel. Anyway, my camera is yelling at me for all kinds of things. I'm gonna stop now and uh, maybe see you in another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you find it useful. Hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> so. I didn't actually end the video, uh, but as you can probably tell by the lighting, it is quite a bit later in the day. So what it, what's happened is that, oh, never run with scissors, kids. Um, is that uh, I finished the unboxing everything. Uh, and I felt like it's not a proper unboxing unless I show what cards are in there. Now, I'm not gonna go through them in any detail at all. I'm just gonna quickly show what cards are actually in the set, right? So, uh, let's just do it and show how many and all that stuff. Cause I mean, that's important. If, if what you're looking for here is like, oh, I only got whatever, like 32 cards when you're supposed to have 34 something. Like, I don't know. It'd be nice before you buy stuff to have confirmation what you're actually getting it, right? That's what you watch unboxings for a lot of the time. Anyway, while I've been talking, I've been peeling the stuff off of this. These are the objective cards. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten objective cards. And these are it's a nice addition to make those mini I don't know what the format is, mini size, so they can take up less space on the board when you place them next to it. Let's take the unit cards. These are probably the ones you're most interested in. 
because some of them are, like the castle walls here is maybe not something you expect to get this is really what sort of made me want to do this and it's quite difficult to open this without damaging the cards especially in a hurry anyway plastic is off so you get two quick reference sheets with so I think I think the deal here is if I do my homework and read up on the entire game I can basically be like you their random person you get one of these I tell you what the game is about the rest of you you just read on your cards and you can basically play with anyone I like that premise I'm sure it's not that simple but it's close enough anyway good stuff um yeah so let's see here get one two here of uh, Lannister Guardsman I'm not gonna go do what I did with all the other units and go through their stats what I think I'll do is once I've had a bit of a rest the units that I haven't done individual unboxings for I will still do a this is what you would get in a box even though I don't didn't get them in a box right where I also just briefly go over this okay that's it I'll do that tomorrow okay uh, we have some halberdiers I could talk for days about all their abilities but not in this video okay click there, there'll be some other videos related to this okay um, mountains men house school gain so you get there's the four Lannister units you got right and here we get one unit of Stark sworn swords two unit sworn swords so that take care of those one unit of Stark Outriders, one unit of House Umber Berserkers, and one Grey Wind, of course. Uh, this is also actually another reason, because I unboxed uh, Summer, and I was like, I actually don't know how Summer compares to Grey Wind, because I didn't actually open and look at the cards. And then one set of Castle Walls, I actually thought you got more of these. Wait a minute, they're on both sides. I'm just gonna check real quick if it's the same. I think it might just be a double-sided card. I thought it might be like a half-wounded state or something. No. Yeah, okay. So those are the unit cards you get. So that was all of the individual units, including Greywind and one uh, unit of uh, castle walls. Anyway, back to <laughs> what looks like the main stuff. I believe all of you will get all of this. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's get this bad boy opened. Yay, now everyone is included again. We like that. Jamie Lannister. As the commander, Gregor Clegane as the commander, guard captain, unit detachment, guard captain, unit detachment, assault veteran, unit detachment, Gregor Clegane, unit detachment, Jamie Lannister, um, unit detachment, right? <coughs> uh, Rob Stark, commander, Great John Umber, commander, Umber champion, unit detachment, sworn sword captain, unit detachment, same thing. Great John Umber um, unit attachment, Rob Stark unit attachment, Tyrion Lannister non-combat unit character. Um, let me just not mess these up too much. Uh, Cersei Lannister, same thing, political thing. Sansa and Caitlyn political. Uh, these I believe are game mode specific things. I am not sure. I haven't read this yet uh, but you get I'll count them in a sec whatever this is you gonna count these with them seems to be I think this is mission specific stuff siege attacker yeah there's just quite a significant bunch here 
I'll, I'll do you the favor of counting it one, two. It looks like 20 of these. Oh, so these are, oh, it's just on the back. I'm an idiot. Secret missions, 20 secret missions. And here we have Siege Attacker. Six. Siege Defender. I'm guessing six. Yes, six. Okay. Then we have what appears to be Tactics Decks. Seven. I imagine to find another seven in there. Here we have so three Jamie Lannister, three Mountain, another seven Lannister, another three Jamie, another three Clegane, and I'm guessing the exact same pattern but for Starks. So seven, three for John, three for Rob, another seven. It's just the way they packed it. I'm not sure why, but it's just. It, it just is. Another three for Great John, another for Rob. And that's all the cards. And oh, that was a long session. And <laughs> a lot of cards. <sighs> Break time for me. Have fun, guys. And uh, I hope you learned something. Or I hope you, I hope you got what you came for out of it. Uh, I will do a bit more due diligence with the cards and the abilities and the units themselves. But I'll do like a, a follow-up video. Maybe I'll do call it like part two, where you see all of that in more detail. Because it's not really an unboxing of the individual units, right? Okay, uh, take care, guys. Cheers.